Hi, I'm Governor Greg Abbott, and I want to welcome you to the Texas Governor's Office. This is where I do things like meet with legislators. It's also where I host national and international leaders, and also where I either sign or veto laws. Well, I want to thank you all for joining me this evening as I sign a law that will ban sanctuary cities in Texas. Now, this law would not have made it to my desk without the leadership and help of Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and Speaker Joe Strauss. Thanks also to Senator Charles Perry and Representative Charlie Guerin, who authored this bill in their chambers. Now, let's be clear about something. We all support legal immigration. It helped to build America and Texas. Texas strongly supports the legal immigration that has been a part of our state from our very beginning. But legal immigration is different from harboring people who have committed dangerous crimes. This law cracks down on policies like the Travis County Sheriff, who declared that she would not detain known criminals accused of violent crimes. Those policies are sanctuary city policies and won't be tolerated in Texas. Elected officials and law enforcement agencies, they don't get to pick and choose which laws they will obey. There are consequences, deadly consequences, to not enforcing the law. Who can forget Kate Steinle's tragic murder two years ago, a murder that was blamed on sanctuary city policies? Kate's killer was in the country illegally and had been deported five times. He had seven felony convictions and was on probation in Texas at the time he killed Kate Steinle. He should never have been in this country. If he hadn't, Kate would still be alive today. Kate's death was more than a murder. It was gross negligence by government policy. Texas will not be complicit in endangering our citizens the way Kate Steinle was endangered. That's because our top priority is to keep our citizens safe. The bill that I'm about to sign does just that. It ensures that law enforcement officers in Texas can and will cooperate with ICE. It also requires sheriffs to honor ICE detainer requests. Now this law imposes penalties up to $25,000 per day, and it can lead to jail time and removal from office for any official who refuses to comply with the ban on sanctuary cities. Now listen, the key policies in this bill, they've already been tested at the United States Supreme Court and approved there. And it simply makes sense. Citizens expect law enforcement officers to enforce the law, and citizens deserve lawbreakers to face legal consequences. Texans expect us to keep them safe, and that is exactly what we are going to do by me signing this law. Texas has now banned sanctuary cities in the Lone Star State. Now let's be clear. A reason why so many people come to America is because we are a nation of laws. And Texas is doing its part to keep it that way. May God bless you all. And may God forever bless the great state of Texas.